Tekken fans rejoice as we get to see the new Tekken 7 Season 4 DLC 18 to 19. This update is a big one. We get to see new moves, balance changes, and also a shiny new Polish character. We'll really get to know this character in a little bit, but for now, my name is Ali from UnGeek, and today we'll be unboxing the PR kit sent to us by Bandai Namco. So we already know quite a bit of what we're going to be expecting for the new DLC 18 to 19. We only know so much about this new special character as you've seen in the teaser and the trailer which was released last March 21st during the new King of the Hill tournament. If you've seen the official trailer, you can actually see that she's battling against these other Tekken 7 characters and you can really see her moveset. A lot of people are already comparing her to be a female counterpart of Jin Kazama. So let's get right into it and unbox this so we can really get to know the Polish Prime Minister. <laughs> As you can see here, it's a string bag and it has the very infamous logo of the Mishima Zaibatsu. And you're gonna be seeing here Tekken 7 Tournament. I can already tell if I was in the Tekken universe and I see this in my front door, I would want to run away as far as possible. Knowing the Mishimas and their love for cliff diving and family bonding. It's totally my first time seeing this. Totally my first time. So let's try to get everything out the bag and see everything sprawled out together here. We got a lanyard, guys. We got a lovely, lovely lanyard right over here. Look at this. Look at that, that's so cool. It, this brings back a lot of memories. There you go. Looking nice and official, right? I'll try to remove this so you guys can have like a better look at this, but this is Brian Fury's mask. Very timely at a time like this, of course, you kind of want to be safe. What I like about this mask is there's a pocket for a filter where you can just prop it right in between. So you can get like a filter like this and slip it in between over here for maximum safety. Sadly, this is a little bit too big for me because it's in large and XL and it covers my whole face. So it's literally a face mask. See you guys, it, it, it covers my eyes. It, it covers, it actually covers my eyes, but hey, maximum protection. <laughs> Got another one over here and, oh, it's, it, this one's a little bit big. Okay. Guys, it's a hoodie with a Mishima Zaibatsu logo plastered on it. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, not only does it have the logo over here on top, but it also has a Tekken 7 logo on the left arm sleeve. Whoa, that actually is badass. I like this little logo over here. It really gives it a nice touch. Like, I already know that this logo here already makes it so nice, but the logo over here on the left arm sleeve is just like, chef's kiss. Makes it even more snazzy. Oh, that's so nice. Should I wear everything all at once? I think I should. Hold up, hold up. Oh, wow. Oh, that's actually really soft. That's really soft. Wow, I can just wear this to sleep, guys. I look so cool, guys! <laughs> look at that! Now let's move on to the thing that is hyping people up. This cardboard box. I couldn't afford a present this year, so I got you this box. I wonder what's in this box. It's another box! <laughs> oh, this is the real box. This is just a decoy over here. We're finally here. This is what everyone's been talking about. Again, we see the logo of the Mishima Zaibatsu over here and you can just slide this off over here just like that. And it reveals the Tekken 7 logo here. Very nice and glossy. It's a very nice finish over here. A nice cherry on top. And again, we got some floral design here. A lot of thought was put into this amazing box. So let's try to open this up.
And we can see over here, wow. Oh, there it is, the letter. We have two things inside here. And I wanna show you this first one. And this is very interesting. Now, the funny thing we know about Bandai Namco is that they love misdirection and they love to troll their fans. People thought that the new Polish character was actually named Christina, but we already know that her name is actually Lydia Sobieska. So we see now that this heartfelt letter is addressed to the Prime Minister of Poland, which is Lydia, signed by no other than the big boss himself, Heihachi Mishima. Oh man, I can just imagine Heihachi trying to write this letter. Dear Miss Prime Minister, I do not intend to follow your request for the withdrawal of the Tekken Force deployment in Poland. However, I hold you in high regard on account of your ascension to the post of Prime Minister at such a young age. I have no doubt you will play a prominent role in shaping the future of your country. If you are of mind to cooperate with my ambitions, you will have the strong support of the Mishima Zaibatsu for your country and for all endeavors related to politics, economics, and military affairs. If you refuse this offer, I am sure you understand the perilous situation in which it would place your country. If you have any objections, you could always enter the King of Iron Fist tournament and propose them directly to me. I look forward to your carefully considered reply. Love, CEO of Mishima Zaibatsu Heihashi Mishima. Sign, sealed, and delivered. And last but not least, we have this amazing black belt over here. You can see here the name Lydia. Again, for Lydia Sobieska. And you can see over here that in this black belt, Potega, which is Polish for power. Not only is she doing karate, but she's actually a master of the Polski karate. And that is all folks for today's unboxing. I'm actually looking forward to what's going to happen in the next few days because we know that the DLCs are going to be launching on March 23rd. I'm actually really excited how Lydia is going to fare with the other Tekken 7 characters. Is she going to be overpowered or is she going to falter? Let us know in the comment sections what you think and don't forget to press subscribe and the notification bell as well so you can get notified whenever we put out new videos. Again, my name is Ali from Ungeek. Stay safe and we'll see you on the next one.